Troops from North Korea could join Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Troops from North Korea could join the invasion of Ukraine under a new pact with Russia, experts warned, according to the Daily Mail media outlet. Analysts agree that the arrival of thousands of Kim's soldiers on the Russian front line would be a game-changer in the conflict, significantly strengthening the Kremlin's hand. North Korea is also expected to supply Russia with a further 5 million ammunition rounds, having already supplied as much in recent months. Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un have signed an agreement pledging that Russia and North Korea will help each other in the event of aggression against either country. The pact cements a rapidly blossoming partnership that has worried the West. It could also have significant ramifications for the world, say observers. Any kind of mutual defense treaty could possibly see Moscow assisting Pyongyang in a future conflict on the Korean peninsula, while North Korea could openly help Russia in its war on Ukraine. The treaty is likely to anger Seoul, which, ahead of the meeting, warned Russia against going beyond a certain point. National Security Advisor Chang Ho-jin had told his Russian counterpart that Moscow should take into consideration which among North Korea and South Korea will be more important to it once Russia ends its war with Ukraine. Rachel Lee, a senior fellow at the Stimson Center think tank's Korea program, said any such treaty would have significant implications for the region and the world. Former British Army intelligence expert Philip Ingram said, I do think North Korea probably will supply troops as part of the new defense pact. This is very worrying. They will add numbers but how adaptable they will prove on the battlefield remains to be seen. Russia's tactics have been so primitive, sacrificing vast numbers of soldiers in the so-called meat grinder. The Kremlin is probably more interested in quantity of personnel rather than quality. Meanwhile, ex-British Army commander Colonel Hamish de Britton Gordon suggested Kim could exchange soldiers for nuclear technology. He said to the Daily Mail that it would show how absolutely desperate they both are. Putin for troops and Kim for knowledge. North Korea's People's Army is believed to consist of up to 1.3 million active personnel. The majority are engaged in the country's historic standoff with South Korea. After suffering some 500,000 casualties in Ukraine, Russia needs to bolster its frontline forces. The arrival of North Korean troops would further reduce Ukraine's chances of reclaiming its eastern provinces of Luhansk and Donetsk, which have been held by Russia since early 2022. Washington and Seoul have been increasingly alarmed by deepening military cooperation between Russia and the North and have accused them of violating international laws by trading in arms for Russia to use against Ukraine.